So in this quick video, we'll talk about Blackboard announcements and different ways that you can use them. By default, all courses in Blackboard have a homepage similar to this. So if you wanted to post an announcement, you'd need to click here to get to the announcement page, or you can come down to Course Tools, and you'll see Announcements. Either will bring you to this page. Here you'll be able to click the Create Announcement button. You're required to give it a title. You'll use the message space for the message. You can also embed video here from YouTube or other places or create um, hyperlinks or even attach files if you want to send files out. If you want to create announcements in advance, um, you can. So if you wanted to make it a test announcement or an announcement that a unit is about to become available, you could click here. You have the option to set the day that the announcement pops up for students. All you really need is the display after. If you want to send the announcement out immediately, you can leave it on not date restricted. And then I like this option, send a copy of the announcement immediately. So what this does is when we post this announcement, it'll post in Blackboard, but it'll also send a copy of it to their SAU email address. This lets you browse your course and Let's say that we wanted to share a specific document with students, this APA file. This will include a link to that file in the message when students get it by email or if they get the announcement in Blackboard. Finally, when we're ready, we click Submit. The announcement gets posted. You get a green notification bar here that says that the announcement's been posted. It says that the, uh, the email was successfully sent to all course users. You may have even heard my Outlook uh, audio notification. So this means that the announcement's been posted. It included our course link, and it also went out to our SAU email accounts.